Hello and welcome to the REL Acoustics how-to video series. In this video we're going to show you the standard way to connect two RELs with two high-level cables to a single amplifier or monoblocks. We don't recommend connecting a single REL to a set of monoblocks via high level because either the REL or the amplifiers could be damaged. Before we begin connecting wires to your amplifiers, turn them off to avoid the risk of accidentally shorting them and damaging your units. With the amplifier off, connect the black wire on each high level cable to the negative speaker terminal on the corresponding channel, meaning the left subwoofer's black wire should be connected to the left channel negative output terminal. Use the same configuration for the right subwoofer and right channel. Next, twist together the red and yellow wires on each high level cable. Lastly, connect each red and yellow twisted pair to the positive speaker terminal of the corresponding amplifier channel. The right subwoofer should only be connected to the right channel, and the left subwoofer should only be connected to the left channel. You're done on this end of the cable. Check the connections to make sure there are no bare wires shorting between the output terminals. If everything looks clear, you can now turn your amp back on. The final step is to plug the speak on connector at the other end of the cable into the REL subwoofer's high level input. If hum occurs using this method, there's a grounding problem. Try grounding the black wire to a chassis ground if your amp has one. Keep in mind, you will most likely need to do this for each subwoofer. The other option to stop the humming is to remove the black wire, letting it float, and connect an RCA interconnect cable between an unused RCA input on the preamp or amplifier and the rail's LFE input. When disconnecting the black wire, wrap the stranded wires with electrical tape to avoid a short. If done correctly, the rail will be getting a ground signal from the RCA caller. Please make sure the LFE level is set to zero so you don't hear any signal coming from the LFE input. You'll most likely need to perform this process for each subwoofer. In some instances, this connection method results in exceptionally high output from the rails. If your rails are too high in output, simply remove either the red or yellow wire from the twisted pair. This will reduce output by half and restore a natural volume level. What is too high? If you can only turn up the rails volume four to five clicks, then it's too high, and you need to follow these instructions. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe for more REL Acoustics videos.